questions. The first one comes to us from a listener in Chambly, Georgia, who writes, Would you please explain Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 26? It would seem that God is approving the use of wine and strong drink. And Deuteronomy 14, 26 reads, and I will read it, And thou shalt bestow thy money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, for oxen or for sheep or for wine or for strong drink or for whatsoever thy soul desireth, and thou shalt eat there before the Lord thy God, and thou shalt rejoice thou and thine household. Now, may I say to you that the situation that he's speaking under is different than a barroom scene today where hard liquor and wine is sold. This is a family gathering to begin with, and God said he blessed these people, and they had plenty and abundance. They could buy all these things. Now, they could buy what we would call hard liquor, I guess you would want to call it. In fact, he calls it strong drink. Now, it's a family gathering, actually, to worship the Lord in this service of their eating and their drinking. And the idea of getting drunk was not anywhere in the purview of this situation at all. It's a family gathering. And to drink would be to take, I would think, of a very small amount of the hard liquor, and that sort of thing. We have a notion today that alcohol is 100% bad. Did you know that a great many of the medicines that we use today contain alcohol? It's one of the greatest medicines that there is. And I remember a preacher friend of mine when he was very old, very weak, Why, they gave him a big spoonful of whiskey in the afternoon to sort of rouse him up a little because he was inclined just to pass away. May I say to you, it was used in that sense. And even today can be used that. But we always think of the drunkard, the bar room, and that sort of thing. But it was originally not associated with that at all. It was associated with the family and it was a family gathering, and it was a family gathering to worship the Lord, and so that it could be used in that sense. I never have been what is called a teetotaler. I think it was Billy Sunday said that liquor had a place, and this place was in hell. Well, that is true if you're talking about the bar room and the drunks that we have today, and There are so many of them, and there's so much liquor being consumed. But it is a medicine and can be used as a medicine and does have a place. But we Americans do not know how to handle it. The fact of the matter is anything that is tinctured with sin, we Americans do not know how to handle it at all. We do not know how to handle the problem of sex today. We do not know how to handle the problem of drinking today. We do not know how to handle the problem of actually overeating, gluttony today. So these are problems that are mentioned here in Scripture that referred to that day. And I don't think that you could lift this out and put it in a setting today. If you did, I'm sure that God would condemn it immediately. But this was for the Old Testament times. And it was for actually a family gathering.